What's up mga kuya? Welcome back to the channel. So my brother's PC has been having problems for the past two weeks mainly with his new hard drive um, disconnecting at random times causing some of his games to be at least his single player campaign in Ark Survival Evolved. So like the first troubleshoot that I did is replace the um, SATA power cable to his hard drive and it fixed the problem. Also at the same time, uh, I've been wanting to replace the power supply in his PC for quite a while now. So I bought him this, the Seasonic S12 650 watt power supply. Now while the power supply in his PC is kind of a cheapo Raid Max power supply way back in like 2014, 2015, I mean not to shit on Raid Max, I think they're an okay company when it comes to power supplies. But in my opinion of course, uh, Seasonic is like the best brand of power supplies. At least I think so. Thus, of course, they offer a five-year warranty, so that's uh, very nice. And also, I think I'm gonna put this in my like troubleshoot tips guides. So if you're having problems with your PC, mainly with your hard drive or SSD randomly disconnecting, then of course, considering that your SSD is a two and a half inch SSD, then try to switch the SATA power cable with other SATA power cables in your power supply. Of course, at the same time, if you're planning to actually switch out or upgrade the power supply in your PC, then I'm gonna show you how. So for now, we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Seasonic S12 II. Now, while there are other power supplies that are better, obviously, um, this is actually a great combination of uh, budget. Yes, budget. I was able to buy this for around 3,000 pesos. Quality, since this is a Seasonic power supply plus it's 80 plus bronze, and uh, cost cutting with the means of it being a non-modular power supply so meaning that uh, all the cables are actually connected to the power supply so again non-modular so that was the sacrifice that seasonic did for the s12 to for it to go down at this price and the good thing about this is you have black cables no ketchup and mustard shit man there you have the Seasonic S12 II. Yeah. And the great thing about the case that my brother has is that this has a hinge type panel. So no screws, uh, completely a toolless entry, at least here at the front. Actually, same goes for here at the back. Actually, while I'm at it, this might need a bit of a wipe. So remove the 6 or 8 pin power connector to your graphics card. I mean, if your graphics card needs a 6 or 8 pin power connector, obviously, then the 24 pin power connector. Then the 4 or 8 pin power connector to your CPU, right usually in the top left corner. Then just a couple of thumb screws here at the rear panel or right side panel. Yeah. And then remove the SATA power cables to your SSD and hard drives. And away, I ran so far away. So this might be a bit of a hassle um, considering that you have your cables managed. Like with bed pro straps and all that shit. So in this case, also remove the Molex power cables to your fans if you're using fans with Molex. So yeah, I think that's all the cables. And now to unscrew the power supply at the back. So this is my brother's old power supply, the Raid Max 600 AF, uh, also 80 plus bronze. I'm just gonna give this a wipe down also. So in this case, I'm going to install the power supply with the fan facing down since it has ventilation here at the bottom. Uh, but obviously, if your case doesn't have one, then uh, install it with the fan facing up. And ideally, you'd want to screw in your power supply in a cross pattern. Actually, same goes if you're also installing your CPU cooler. And by the way, don't expect any good cable management tips from me. That's not my forte. So yeah, search up YouTube for some cable management tips. And actually, I'm not sure if this has a Molex power connector. Hopefully, it has one. 
So yeah, we have Molex here. Connect that to your case fan. And then the SATA power cables to our hard drives and SSDs. So fairly straightforward. Like, uh, it's kind of like Lego connectors. And just hide the cables that you don't need at the back of the power supply. At least that's what I do. <laughs> Again, I'm not good with cable management, so I'm very sorry. Like I said, search for YouTube for cable management tips. So here we have the 4 or 8 pin power connectors to our CPU labeled CPU, of course. So we're just gonna pass these cables through here, through the top right hole here. And basically all the cables that you don't need, just shove it in there. So next up, we have the 6 or 8 pin power connector to our power supply labeled VGA in this case, but usually it's PCIe. So I'm just gonna pass this through the bottom grommet. And since I only need one 6 pin power connector, a 6 or 8 pin power connector, I'm just gonna shove the other 6 or 8 pin power connector inside here. You know, because that's how I do. And last up is the 24 pin power connector. Sliding it through the middle grommet. And before connecting all the cables that you need, you can cable manage the heck out of this. But again, don't take any cable management tips from me. Just a friendly reminder to occasionally clean your PC. Mga Like every 6 months or so. Or if you're a really diligent person, then every 3 months. So in this case, the GTX 1660 Super that's in here needs an 8 pin PCIe. Then the 24 pin. And if you're kind of a beginner when it comes to PC building, uh, these cables only go in one way. And last up is the 4 or 8 pin CP power connector, which in this case I actually might need to lay down the PC. And there you have it. And of course, remember to clean the dust filter on your power supply. On your case for your power supply, just to be specific. And just to test if this thing is actually working. Okay, so fans are spinning, lights on. So I'm not sure if you're able to hear that, but that noise is actually coming from, yeah, this uh, exhaust fan. So I'm gonna replace those soon yeah if you guys have any questions then uh, leave it in the comments i'll do my best to answer them of course if you guys want to buy the exact power supply that i use in my brother's pc which is the seasonic s12 2 actually s12 3 sorry about that then i'll leave the links in the description of course uh, leaving a like is the easiest way to support the channel uh, consider subscribing if you like my content and turn on notifications so you'll be updated on my latest videos i think i didn't forget anything Hopefully so. As always, stay safe mga kuya. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.